Man. Get the f out of my fucking face, you loser. On the evening of December 29th, 2021, homeowners in La Crosse, Wisconsin were startled by a loud crash outside their home. Upon investigation, they discovered their car had been rammed into by a young woman driving a red Chevy. Despite the icy roads and dark skies, officers sensed there might be something more to this peculiar accident. Yeah. I'll let you chat with Officer Lee Baker here. Who's, who's driving this car? Nobody was driving it. Nobody was driving it. That's my car. Let's see, she hit the car and hit that one and that one. So who was driving a red car? I was. You was? I might have talked to you over here. Yeah. Identified as 27-year-old Brittany Scholar, she was quickly determined to be the driver at fault in the incident, having rammed into a parked car. Sensing something amiss, the officer decides to question the shaken-up girl. Coming from? Um, friend's house. Friend's house? Alright, what were you doing at your friend's house? Hanging out. Hanging out? Yeah, have you had anything to drink tonight? No. Unfortunately, no. Brittany claims she hadn't consumed any alcohol, but her demeanor suggests otherwise. The officer observes her glossy eyes, slurred speech, and detects the scent of alcohol. Consequently, he requests Brittany to perform field sobriety tests. Due to the cold weather, however, he opts to conduct them at the police station instead. This news doesn't sit well with Brittany at all. All right, so what I want to do is I just want to go back to our station, just run you through some fields, okay? So basically what the fields is, I can kind of smell a little bit of alcohol, alcohol and toxic from coming from you, okay? I don't want you to do out in the cold, all right? We won't go, all right? It's my job. We gotta make smarter decisions when we drive, okay? My little brother died six months ago. Which is close. You gotta record so we gotta go to the station, okay? You gotta watch my squad, okay? What the f do you guys need from me? Well, I can smell some intoxicants coming from you, okay? Brittany's demeanor quickly spirals into hysteria, rendering the sobriety tests nearly pointless. What's intriguing is her story about her little brother and notably how she attempts to leverage it as an excuse for leniency. The freshness of this incident in her mind suggests it genuinely troubles her, and for valid reasons. With the information at hand, it appears she resorts to alcohol to numb her worries and distract herself. However, this only made the situation worse for both parties involved. My brother died! Okay, so look at this accident and tell me if you could have caused some injury to somebody else. You're right, you're right, you're right. So we're gonna right. walk to this first squad. You're right, you're right, you're right. My brother died in a car accident. I miss him so much. I've already been in jail, dude, come on! My brother fucking died! Brittany appears too intoxicated to grasp that her actions tonight could have led to someone else losing a loved one just as she lost her little brother. Tragically, her brother died in a drunk driving accident, with Brittany herself as one of the passengers. She witnessed firsthand the danger and recklessness of this crime, yet chose to engage in it just six months later. Upon returning to the station, the sobriety tests begin. While they may have taken some time, one only needs to witness this part to gauge how poorly it went. What I want you to do is I just want you to follow this finger with your eyes and your eyes only. Do not move your head. Do you understand? Okay. Any questions? No. Just with your eyes. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. But okay. Can you open your eyes for me, okay? No, oh, you already think I'm a piece of shit. Anyway. Did I, I didn't say that, Brittany. No, I know that you do. You guys already think I'm a fucking loser. No. Brittany, I just want right now. I just want to make sure you're safe to drive and not putting anybody else in danger. Come on, are you doing it again? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I was in ballet, bitches, and also tap dance. So fucking tell me about it. My little brother died three months ago. No, we're not saying we don't care about that. No, well, you know what? We can get to talk about that. We just gotta figure out, finish these tests, and then we'll get out of here. The next few minutes unfold in a similar manner with Brittany's behavior remaining consistent. Recognizing her level of intoxication, the cops rightfully conclude that she was too drunk to have been driving. However, this marks just the beginning of the case. With her official arrest, Brittany inexplicably begins to compound the charges against her, further exacerbating the situation and exhibiting increasingly bizarre behavior. I'm gonna fuck, fuck, let everybody know you guys Loser! No, you guys tried to have sex with 
Get off. Fucking loser. Yeah, yeah, guess what? I have your semen in my fucking. Stop it. Fuck you. When you have anything in your pockets, I might just a poke in her. What? What do you want on my pocket? What do you want on my pocket? That's fucking. not what we gonna do. We're not gonna be kicking, okay? No. You understand me? Oh, you. Brittany, we understand you're going through a lot. With oh, okay. you understand I'm going through a lot. Okay. A police officer <laughs> assaulting me. Brittany, stop. You're assaulting me. Brittany. You're assaulting me. Are you serious? What the? F what the? F Brittany, get your foot in the car. You're assaulting me. Brittany, get your foot in the You're car. You're assaulting me. Brittany's behavior takes a drastic turn as she accuses the cops of various forms of assault, kicks them, and resists arrest. Her hysteria intensifies, and her actions only serve to worsen her case. Witness how she reacts when reminded once more that she is under arrest. <laughs> For a while, what have I done wrong? You're under arrest for whatever you like. For a while. We're operating well under the influence. The faster we get this process done, the faster call my mom. we will call your mom, Brittany, okay? Brittany, there's just some reason Your f***ing officer's trying to f***ing rape me. Are you serious? It's all bad on camera. F*** that! Get the f*** out of my f***ing face, you piece of f***. Get the f*** out of my f***ing face! We're not gonna be kidding. You! Get the f*** out of my f***ing face. Get the f*** out of my f***ing face, you Throughout the case, Brittany's behavior remained consistently uncooperative. She resisted while getting her blood drawn at the hospital, attempted to kick officers and resist back at the station. Her agitation was such that officers had to remove chairs from the interview room as she was kicking them around. At one point, she even attempted to escape the interview room while handcuffed. No, this is not, no, this is not acceptable. Dude, get your hands off of me. I don't, we can't have you walking around. Please stop. Get your hands off of me. I don't want you to get hurt. This is not acceptable. Get your hands off of me. Brittany was ultimately confined to a cell and slapped with several charges, including felony battery to an officer, disorderly conduct, operating a vehicle while under the influence, and failure to maintain control of a vehicle. The details of her exact sentence remain undisclosed, but what isn't undisclosed is that you will definitely like the video on your screen right now. So go ahead, give it a watch. I'll be waiting there.